Hi guys and uh, welcome to another video. In today's video lesson, we're going to be looking at Grade 12 Maths Algebra. Challenging questions from past papers from 2010 to 2019. This is going to be part one of a series of uh, videos. Now, let's look at uh, the first question, which is the February, March 2015 paper. And it was question 1.1.4 and it reads as follows. 2 to the 2x minus 6 times 2 to the x equals to 16. And it was 4 marks. Now remember that most of these concepts you learn in the earlier grades, uh, grade 11, grade 10 and so on. But these questions are slightly more challenging and that is why I just want to focus on them in the series of videos. So let's look at this question. How do we deal with a question of this nature? 2 to the 2x minus 6 times 2 to the x equals to 16. Well, first of all, this is an exponential equation. So what we've got to do is, we've got to look at what exponents do we have. We've got 2x and we've got x. So therefore, if we simplify, we'll have 2 to the x all squared minus 6 times 2 to the x minus 16 equals to 0. Now remember that 2 to the x all squared is 2 to the 2x using our laws of exponents x to the m raised to the power n it's going to equal to x to the m times n now if you look at this you'll also be able to recognize that you have 2 to the x all squared minus 6 times 2 to the x minus 16 equals to 0 and this now is in the form of a quadratic equation Remember, a quadratic equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. So therefore, if we let 2 to the x equals to k, we'll be able to have the following. k squared minus 6k minus 16 equals to 0. And therefore, we can now factorize this. Therefore, k squared is k times k, 16, factors of 16, 2 times 8, and this will be minus n plus. So therefore, if we solve for k, we'll get k equals to negative 2, or k equals to positive 8. Now, if you look at that very carefully, k equals to minus 2. So now we can substitute 2 to the x equals to minus 2, or 2 to the x equals to 8. Now if you look at that, we are almost there. 2 to the x cannot equal to minus 2 and the reason for that is as follows. So let's firstly write no solution here. And let me explain this to you very quickly. 2 to the x can't equal to minus 2. If you have to draw the graph of 2 to the x, it will look something like this. So this is the graph of y equals to 2 to the x. And negative 2 is somewhere down here, minus 2. Remember that the x-axis is also the asymptote for the graph of y equals to 2 to the x. So therefore, it's never going to go below this x-axis. Therefore, it will never be equals to minus 2. So therefore, once again, no solution if you have 2 to the x equals to any negative value. It can't even equal to 0, all right? So therefore, let's simplify or solve now 2 to the x equals to 8. So 2 to the x equals to 8. Therefore, 8 can be written as 2 to the x equals to 2 to the power 3 or 2 cubed. Therefore, x equals to 3 and that's my solution. x equals to 8. Let's look at one more in part 1 of this video series on algebra questions 1.4 calculate a and b if the square root of 7 to 2014 minus 7 to the 2012 over 12 equals to a into 7 to the b and a is not a multiple of 7. now if you look at this you've got two sides to this equation the left hand side and we've got the right hand side so basically what we're going to do is we're going to simplify this left hand side such that we can get it in the form a into 7 to the b 
therefore we'll be able to get our values for a and b so let's go and do that so the left hand side will be let's write that down again but before we write that down let's look at how do we approach a question like this so you've got 7 to the 2014 and 7 to the 2012. the whole key to answering questions like this is that you want to bring this 2014 down to the smallest power that you have uh, in this particular question so you've got 7 to the 2012 you want to bring 7 to the 2014 down to this down to 7 to the 2012 and how can we do that well we need to be able to know the following rule in exponents for example if you've got x to the m times x to the n it's equals to x to the m plus n so once again we're using exponential laws okay so 7 to the 2014 can be expressed as 7 to the 2012 7 to the 2012 times 7 squared okay and that's what we are going to be doing so let's have a look at that so once again let's write that down so 7 to the 2014 is going to be expressed as 7 to the 2012 times 7 squared remember 2012 plus 2 is 2014 and that's minus 7 to the 2012. now the whole point to this exercise of bringing it down to the smallest power so that we can now remove 7 to the 2012 as a HCF, highest common factor. On that note, 12. Now what we want to do with 12 is we also want to write 12 as a product of its prime factors. So 12, now we've dealt with this in the past. So let's look at that. 12 equals to, can we break it up? Yes, what's it? Perfect square times a prime number is 4 times 3, right? So therefore, it will be 2 squared times 3. So for 12, we can write it as 2 squared times 3. Now we're almost there. So equals 2. So let's remove that 7 to the 2012 as a common factor. So we left with 7 squared minus 1 all over 2 squared times 3. So we'll leave that 2 squared times 3 which is 12 so 7 squared minus 1 is 7 squared is 49 minus 1 is 48 now can we express 48 as a product of its prime factors sure we can 48 is 16 times 3 16 is a perfect square times a prime number which is 3 so 16 is 2 to the 4 times 3. now for all of this guys you can use your calculator so 2 to the 4 times 3. So we can now express 7 squared minus 1, which is going to give us 48 as 2 to the 4 times 3. So therefore, what are we left with? So we're going to be left with 7 to the 2012 times 2 to the 4 times 3, 2 to the 4 times 3, all over 2 squared times now I'm just writing dot instead of times dot means multiplication okay now let's see what are we left with so let's simplify further so we've got 3 and 3 cancels 2 to the 4 divided by 2 squared will be 2 to the 2 so now we left with 7 to the 2012 times 2 to the power 2 now we are on our last step Therefore, now we're going to use our last law of exponents that I just want to explain to you very quickly. If I have the nth root of x to the power n, it will equal to x to the m divided by n. So once again, this is square root. So therefore, I'll say 2012 divided by 2. Remember, the square root is 2, right? So 2012 divided by 2 will give me 7 to the 1,000. 6 times and here I'll be left with 2 to the 2 divided by 2 is 2 to the 1 so we can just write it as 2 so now let's go and compare what do we have we got 2 times 7 to the 1006 now if you look at your question value of a now will be 2 so therefore what can we conclude that a is equal to 2 
and B. Let's go back up here. Will equals to is it here? Seven to the B. That will be one thousand and six. One double o six. And that's it. That is, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe to JL Maths. Also, check out all the videos in order of the work schedule on jlmaths.com. Also, like my Facebook page, Justin Lazarus Mathematics, and I'll catch you in the next video.